begin the video, I'll explain how an oxygen sensor works. First thing we need to understand is how a battery operates. So, it runs off the principle of two dissimilar metals and an electrolyte. If you have two similar metals and an electrolyte, you won't produce any voltage. Whereas if you have very dissimilar metals and an electrolyte, you're going to produce more voltage. So, how does this relate to our oxygen sensor? Beginning here, you have your sample. This is this part of the oxygen sensor. That's your sample, it's very lean. You have a lot of oxygen there. For the demo's sake, we're only gonna say about 20% maybe. Inside your exhaust stream, which passes through the Swiss cheese part of the oxygen sensor here, you have hydrocarbons, carbon dioxide, a little bit of oxygen, and other gases as well. It goes through here and it gets compared with this electrolyte here. So, going back to the diagram, you have 30 oxygen on one side and 30 oxygen on the other in your exhaust and your sample. Those are both the same. You're not gonna be able to produce any voltage. On the other hand, if you have one oxygen down here in your exhaust stream, and you have 30 oxygen up here in your sample, you're going to be producing close to one volt. All right, ready for it. Here's the Pico scope hooked in. And here's the results on the Pico scope. As you can see, it varies between about a quarter of a volt to just over 0.8 volts. And I'm now going to introduce a vacuum leak into the system. So now we can see it's running super lean. Now we can see it's running super rich. Now I unplug that, now it's going lean again. Now that I plugged it back up, it's going super rich. And I'm now going to plug it back in. And you can see it goes back to varying as normal. Also with the vehicle key on engine off, you can see it still has some voltage, but it doesn't vary at all. This vehicle's oxygen sensor was a little bit slow. So in a 10 second period, it only went up and down from rich to lean about one, one and a half times. When we checked the voltage supplied to the heater circuit, we were getting about 12 volts or battery, which is to be expected. Here with the key on engine off, you can see the short term fuel trim and the long term fuel trim as well as the voltages between the two oxygen sensors, both before and after the catalytic converter. Going to go ahead and fire the vehicle up. And as soon as I fire the vehicle up, you can see the changes with the short and the long-term fuel trims, as well as the voltage variations on the two oxygen sensors. And as expected, the long-term fuel trim does not change very much, whereas the short-term fuel trim is frequently going up and down. Something interesting about this vehicle from the OEM data that we get is we can see the different wire colors are listed as blue and white, green and brown, green and white, and violet and green. However, that's not actually what we have. 
we have what the non-OEM diagram says, which is our green and white, a violet brown, a blue and white, and green and brown.